We now have the uh, the team from the Taipei Municipal Zongshan Girls High School in Taiwan, who achieved also the meritorious award uh, achievement award. So, can we have that uh, the Taiwan team, please? <coughs> The, uh, the video or the video, 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 video. first. Or? This is the introduction <laughs> and the setting. We adapt data from Taiwan. We consider the objective factors and personal preferences. And I divided our report into three parts. First, we define the mortality rate. Second, we took another four factors into consideration that we can establish our model from five different factors. At last, we will have case simulation to make it clear. Question one. Develop a model that uses mortality to measure the quality of a hospital. 
we take advantage of these three data to infer and expand the total mortality rate after medical treatment. Because their mortality can be totally different due to a lot of variants, um, we calculate all the data for the two genders respectively, and we simply list three factors on the PowerPoint. This is a demonstration of our calculation. F is female, M is male. We try to we try to find the death toll after medical treatment, but those data are confidential in Taiwan. So we estimated, and that's what you can see on these two pages. We just divided the number of patients of emergency and outpatient clinic by the death toll after medical treatment. And we can get total mortality rate after medical treatment. We take the data of 2016, for example. In this chart, E equals to P times R. So it's clear to see how we infer M the total mortality rate after medical treatment. After our calculation, oh, no. <laughs> after our calculation, we can get M for the two gender. We consider M for the two gender normal distribution. We divide the results into six intervals and set the mortality, mortality score. This is females. This is males. We conclude them in this chart. The second question is about measuring the quality of hospitals based on more factors. Uh, we found information about the reason why people choose hospitals. Uh, then we chose four of these factors, uh, which is more objective to create our model. Uh, the first one is the doctor score. We found information about top doctors from Business Week magazine. We calculate the number of we calculate the number of each division of top top doctors in each division of every hospital and standardize them as X and transform X to a distribution from one to six point nine nine by linear function to get Y. Mm, uh, use integer functions to get the final doctor score. Um, take cardiology of hospital one, for example. Uh, use the wave above. We can we can get two points, and two is the is the is the doctor score of cardiology of hospital one. The next one is the hospital score. We measure the size and resources of hospitals by the number of beds. Referring to the information of hospital evaluation. We divide it into six intervals. The third one is the recommendation score. We divide it into two parts. If the patient receives recommendation, it can get one point. If not, get zero. <clears throat> the last one is the traffic score. It is measured by the driving time to the hospital. Less driving time implies higher traffic score. And last, add the mortality score from question one, then we can get a final final score of each hospital. To get the final score, we need to assign the weight number for each factor. Uh, uh, and to do that, we create a questionnaire for patients to survey how important is each factor. Each row represents each row represents a factor we considered, which we just mentioned in the previous part. And each column represents a level of importance. And we use 0 and 1 to stand for whether the patient check or not. In this example, the patient quite care about the equipment and care a lot about doctor's expertise. 
And this is our factor importance matrix. We calculate the factor importance score by multiplying the score each level represents. The sum of each row is one. Uh, because each because patients should choose only one option in each row. And this is an example of the factor importance score after we calculate it. Then we can get the proportion of each factor. And the sum of, sum of the proportion is one. After we get the proportion of each factor, we are able to calculate the final score for each hospital. And each row represents a hospital. And each column represents the score of different factors in each hospital. Uh, because AI does, the score AI3 is different from the, the others, so we use a relation matrix to transform all the score into the same level and after that, we can get the final score. So now let's go on our case simulation. Ooh, sorry. This is uh, Mr. Hello, and he has heart disease. He wants to go to see the <laughs> cardiologist, but how can he find hospitals which fit him? So we will give him our user-friendly memo. <laughs> okay, um, but how can he use it? Step one, he has to write down his name and his gender. The division he wants to go, the address, and check the form whether he has received the recommendation. The most important part is filled in the form. We have five factors and five scores on our form, and with one as do not mind at all, and with five as do a lot. The higher the score is, the greater the degree is, and each row is required. So after he finished the form, then he just click the enter and send our information that he can get our advice. We perhaps give him three to five hospitals for reference. And the advantage of our memo is that it's easy, handy, and convenient. It's also variable. In the future, if we have a chance to get more data, we can expand our model or give more precise results to our users. Uh, this is the calculation behind our model.